the morning of the morning. We'll come to you live from my office. Since we're not doing in person worship service today, as one of our members in the first time that it is, it's recuperating from surgery. We thank you for your understanding in this matter as we try to do this best for members of our family. So we'll be um, at an abbreviated service today. That's what we've done uh, quite recently here at White House. We're going to uh, call the worship for welcome in this case. Now, scripture lesson for the morning, and there are methods. So, by way of welcome, we welcome each and every one of you, or you may now be viewing. You may be on board as the service goes along, or maybe you know, the course of the day, or going on the week, either on Facebook or YouTube. We thank God for you. Because you are blessed on this Lord's day. Our scripture lesson today comes from both the Old and the New Testament. We'll be considering Genesis chapter 3, verse 6 to 10, and Luke chapter 34, verse 25 to 31. <coughs> In Genesis chapter 3, verse 6 to 10, we have these following words. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food, and pleasing to the eye, and also desiring or desirable for gaining wisdom, that is, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed big leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. <coughs> and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid it. In Luke chapter 34, beginning at verse 25 and concluding at verse 31, we have these words for us today. He said to them, How foolish you are, and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things, and then enter his glory? <clears throat> and beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained them, explained to them, what was said in all scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were born, Jesus continued on as if he were going further. But the urge and strong stayed with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were open, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. Two interest interesting scripture passages in my house. 
each speaking to a similar stuff. So we want to use a, a theme or a thought today with eyes wide open. With eyes wide open. <coughs> Pray by strength on the Lord as you can tell my voice is a little hoarse. It is what changing as it's going. There's been a little talk on my throat and with my voice, but if God says, we will get through this. With eyes wide open. It's a mystery, even baffling, like I said, we can stand by and allow so many unimaginable things to go on within our home. Our community. And our cities in general. And not intervene or take action to bring about positive and much needed change. We cannot take the mindset, stance, or even try to use the excuse that we did not know. Because we see it clearly during our, during our daily travels in life. As well as on the social and news media whose airways are constantly flooded with news reports and videos of violence and the misdeeds for those who have no respect for human life, property, or personal assets. Yet we still we wonder about with our eyes wide open in a trance like state becoming part of the problem rather than a part of the solution. Well then that, that somehow the government will fix the problem. Or that it will just simply disappear and go away on its own. Eyes wide open to us, but blind to everything going on around them. Genesis 3 tells the story of paradise lost by the willfulness of human sin. As it is laid out for us in Genesis chapter 3, humanity was originally given every perfect thing, every perfect thing, they could ever need imagine or want with virtually no restrictions. But despite this generosity of God, Adam and Eve only needed a little bit of prompting. Just a tiny push, as it were, from a talking serpent. To disobey God. The Bible tells us that they were immediately overcome by shame and quickly cursed by God. The painful story of human history begins with their exit from the Garden of Eden. <coughs> Eyes wide open. Loud knowing God's will for them, but choosing instead to sin and eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. <coughs> Conversely, Lighthouse, Luke 34 and verses 25 to 31, 
tells us or tells us the story of two men who thought they were wise. But who did not recognize Christ on the road to the maids. Because it was they were caught up in the events of the preceding day and were spiritually blind, as it were, to the one who came to give his life for mankind. That is until he removed the spiritual blinders from their eyes to allow them to see that he was indeed the risen Christ. This reminds me so much of society today, my house. People living and traveling through life with eyes wide open, yet blind to the harsh realities around them. Or as it's going to put the harsh realities of life around them. My heart is deeply saddened. Lighthouse by the atrocities occurring all around us. While people stand around me with their eyes wide open, either looking the other way or afraid to leave from within their comfort zone of life to intervene or to make a positive difference in the lives of those that need them the most. In action or wrong decisions, Lighthouse will have a long-lasting impact upon us. As is seen with the decision by Adam and Eve, it still affects us to this very day. You see, it is not good enough to know what is right and what is wrong. It is the ability to recognize the situation for what it is and to act upon it and to bring about positive change for the greater good as God leads us. But we have become too complacent. We have become a victim of the agent of familiarity. And as a result, we have become numb to the violence and sin being committed all around us. Worse yet, by us, we have allowed ourselves to become separated from God, or spiritually blinded, if you will. The men on the road heading to the mayors, can I see past them themselves? In the events of the preceding day, you see that God in the flesh of man was walking right beside them. This is society in a nutshell. They know or have known the truth of God's word, but chose instead to follow the ways of the world and embrace sin in all of its destruction. For others, the blinders are locked in place effectively blinding them or preventing them from seeing and embracing the truth that is standing right before them. As I close, I'm reminded of a movie and television franchise that has captivated countless audiences for the last decade or so called The Walking Dead. Those of you who may have watched these movies or TV series or have caught bits and pieces of it may recall that it is based on a 
only in a part, a lifted time. And the people who were turning to zombies and were blind to everything around them except their apparent mission and thirst which was to kill everyone that they encountered. What is it Hollywood's attempt at trying to cash in on what it perceived the public wanted to see on the big screen? The bottom line today is, is that if we're not careful, if we're not careful, Satan in the world will have us follow the suit. So the question has to be posed today is simply this. Are your eyes open, fully open, to everything going on around you? Or have you been blinded by Satan and the world? Satan in the world would love nothing more, perhaps, than to keep you blinded and in bondage. The good news today is that God wants to open your eyes spiritually to the truth and set you free. Which will you choose, perhaps? Which path will you ultimately choose to go down. I will choose carefully because your choice will not only affect you but also the generations that will follow. With eyes wide open. I want you to take this moment you quickly issue the invitation to the site to ship. As you all know, we are in troubling times. Violence has not stopped, but seems to have only increased. To the point that I don't even want to even look at or watch the news. Too many murder suicide involving the entire families and now taking place. Too many boyfriends are killing their exes. Too many women are now killing their exes or the women that have seemingly took away the men out of their lives or they assume we're still in their lives. Too much violence like that is going on. And it's time to take a look at ourselves. It's time to take a close look at our relationship with God and what we like there. So with that said, we want to take this moment in time to issue the call to the discipleship. For those who have not embraced Christ as Savior, who may be near today, God is calling you. For those who have stepped away from the church for a little bit, God wants you to know today that He does not desire for you to straddle the fence to to be between churches. They want you to come and to affiliate with the church that you can be in fellowship with the public saints. That they can pray for you. That they can build you up. Especially in, in, in uncertain times such as these. And for those that have been away for such a long time that you no longer believe that you still have any faith left in God. We want you to know today that God is calling you to. 
and that that faith that you believe you no longer have has just been pushed down so far that you no longer recognize what you human being the call goes out to you today it goes out to everyone God wants you to come home he wants you in this in this once you become among the members of this family, I want to leave with the announcements today. Also, before I read them, please um, ensure that you read everything that's been posted on this Lord's Day, that you be a person what we're doing here at Lighthouse and some of the other things that are going on with those who are affiliated within our community. Our announcement for today was as follows. Welcome to our morning worship service. We're blessed to have you with us. Be mindful that COVID-19 is active and spreading, especially now that we're in our winter months. So be, please be careful to take the proper safety measures to ensure the protection of yourself and those around you. Bible studies are on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Uh, we invite you to join us as we look into uh, the lack of the better term, <coughs> begin our study of the lesson 10, of lack of lesson 10 the book of Psalms, all welcome to the parish to the I do want to add, beginning of next month, when we begin our next study, we will begin posting the link each Sunday so those of you can join in with us that, we, that have a desire to be part of our Bible study. Uh, February of Black History Month, we are planning for in person worship service to resume on next Sunday, February 5th, 2023. Anyone wishing to make a Black History presentation during the month of February, please notify Pastor Tally or First Lady may be as soon as possible. Thank you for all your prayers, meals, and extra comments. For and towards the first family, doing our daughter's recent illness. She's doing well and on the road to recovery. God is good. Anyone need more of those, please contact me and I'll make sure that you get them. Also, anyone with wishing to speak to me about baptism, first membership, or that rededicating yourselves to Christ, or just to speak to me in general. And contact me at 215-438-6790 or the email at lighthouse142 uh, lighthouse excuse me at email.com again that's lighthouse 142004 at gmail.com to schedule and inform and also, as we end, we, just, we don't want to forget to remind you to consider us in your budgeting. That you would consider your back to God. And you use, you can use all of these following links that you see posted. Cash App is dollar sign like a towel. PayPal. PayPal me forward slash lighthouse 2019. You can also use Cash App and Michael Talley Senior as well. But please consider in your budget to remember Lighthouse and give back to God by blessing us with an offering or a tie as we continue our work here 
the Gentile community. God bless you. As you can see throughout this day, we ask God's blessing upon you. As you go about your day, as you run your different errands and do what you're planning to do during this little day, we ask God's blessing on you, His protection, all about you, keep you safe from that kind of danger. We pray that God will bless you as you prepare to engage the brand new week to come. And we'll see you same place, same time, same station. God bless you.